morning besties. What we have on the agenda for today is to go to work, teach a class, come back home, maybe do some shopping, avoid all adult responsibilities, um, give the pup a bath, and kind of see where the day takes us, you know? It's a Wednesday right now, which is the day before my super long day at work slash school because I have to go into work in the morning and then I have to wait on campus all day for my night class, so it's like my last day of freedom before I like have a very adultish day tomorrow. So figured we will have a little fun and see where the day takes us. I love how you can just barely see me over my steering wheel, like second coffee of the day, but hear me out, okay? This one I feel like has a reason because I only slept for like five hours last night opposed, opposed to my usual like seven, eight hours, right? Um, and that's because I totally thought that there was like an intruder in my house. Um, so got up around like two in the morning, checked it all out. It was all good. It was, it must've been like the wind howling. The reason why it freaked me out so much was because the motion lights were on when I looked outside and I was like, it's kind of freaky. Um, but it was all good, but I was already like, so amped up, like adrenaline was going a little bit. So then I couldn't fall back asleep till five in the morning. Then I had to wake up at six, get ready, go to work, slash school, same thing for me. So that's the tea there, okay? I just feel like out of all days, like a second coffee today is warranted, okay? Basically, I'm just justifying my behavior. But what I was gonna tell you was, it's funny because this is my favorite Starbucks. The workers are so nice. They make my drink good 90% of the time. And I just love it. Like the vibes are so good here, but it's funny because it's like right next door to my old therapy appointment, therapy appointment. It's right next door to my old therapy place. And I say old as in like, I totally ghosted her and I am not going anymore. And I used to be really embarrassed about going to therapy when I was younger. And I still was kind of when I started again recently, but then like, I realized, you know what? Like I totally want to normalize therapy. Like there's nothing wrong with it. I think we all need it to some degree. And the only reason I stopped going was because honestly, I didn't feel like I was getting out of it what I was wanting. Like I was wanting to like heal my inner child, like be asked really tough questions. Like, why do I feel that way? Why did I react this way? So on and so forth. And I wasn't getting that. And I've totally been meaning to go find a different therapist, but it's just a matter of like time wise and stuff. I'm kind of wanting to wait till like the end of the semester just because I've like have so much on my plate right now and I'm actually doing pretty good but that's also a thing I've been working on is I don't want to only go to therapy when things get bad because I think that negates the whole point of like I shouldn't let things pile up and get that bad anyway neither here nor there just a little story um there was something else I was going to tell you and I forget what it is see they made it perfect Guys, when I tell you that this drink tastes like Cocoa Pebbles, I mean it. Like, I would not lie to you about that, okay? Okay? But I'm really excited because I'm done teaching. I think I'm going to go home and potentially work out and then just get a quick, get a quick pump, you know? Then I'm going to go shopping because none of my clothes fit anymore and I have a trip coming up. So you better subscribe so you can see that. I'm so excited about it. I have a trip coming up and I wanna be like looking fresh for it, you know? So that's kind of the vibes for today because I really just don't wanna go home and like work on adult stuff. Like that's not what I wanna to do today, you know? I'm feeling energetic, I'm feeling happy, despite the fact that it is a very gray day today. So that's just like what I wanna do, you know? And I'm just gonna like follow that, um, I'm just gonna follow that feeling like I'm done waiting for the weekend to do stuff you know like just have fun throughout the entire week throughout my entire life you know I'm so happy you're here I'm glad you always join me along on my little adventures it means so much to me okay let's get home so I can like still do all the little things I need to do okay like eating I guess that's important I guess
my pocket and we can decide that way. We're letting fate decide it. Heads or tails. Bink. All right. Okay. It was heads. So we're going to the gas station. Oh, we're not going to eat. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Guys, I'm losing steam. I'm so tired. Oh my gosh, I haven't even updated you. He doesn't even know how much sleep I got. Okay. Let's zoom on out of here. Don't take off just yet. Guys, I slipped in the mud yesterday. Well, almost. I saved myself, but look. My shoe is a goner. All right, so I was waiting on a few things to come in the mail, but now I have everything from my little shopping haul, and I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a little try-on for you guys, show you what I got, okay? I'm so excited. Um, first things first, I got these super cute little tanks from Amazon. I got a pack of four for like 20 bucks, so I loved that. There are a couple things that I am gonna return to Amazon though, so just be aware. And I'm also returning some jeans that I got too, because they just weren't super flattering and we're just not about that, you know? So I've been really trying to shop for the basics and I actually got these two cute like faux leather pants from Amazon, but this pair I got in a large, this pair I got in a medium, and they don't say the brand, so I'm very sorry. I don't know off the top of my head, but oh, maybe, no, of course not. Well, anyway, so the large, here, I'll show you. Are you ready for this? The large is just too big in that little crotch area. It's so awkward. It's like such a difficult fit. Also, I have the shortest torso. So look how freaking high these come up on me. I am literally the new Steve Urkel. Like this is the bottom of my bra and that is the top of my pants. <laughs> so my torso is about this big. So I love that for me. But you see how like, just kind of baggy. They're just not flattering, but I do love the color. So I'm, I was thinking about like just exchanging these for a medium because I really love I really love the color but <laughs> honestly I'm just kind of a little bit lazy for that so I'm just gonna return the large instead I'm gonna keep these pink ones which are a medium and fit much better let me show you <laughs> you like how I'm just putting them over my leggings again they still come up super tall but like I at least have maybe like an inch gap instead of like half an inch so they're not as bad you know like I probably wouldn't wear a crop top with them just cuz like we don't need the like little tum tum on display you know but I mean I think they're pretty dang cute are you kidding me <laughs> pair that with a cute little jacket okay speaking of a cute little jacket let me show you this so when I was at the mall I went shopping to dry goods and I'm gonna be honest some of the stuff was a little bit more expensive than like I normally would have liked to pay for it but I will say that the quality is so good honestly I think it's worth it because that's one of my biggest pet peeves like I started buying a bunch of leggings off of Amazon a while ago that were like you know 15 20 dollars and they're see-through and I'm just like I can't deal with like the bad quality so I'm like fine I will make an investment I will pay but look how freaking cute this jacket is do you see that color it's a cute little lavender color obviously this outfit does not go together but actually now that I'm thinking about it they did have a jacket exact or a little fleece type flannel in this color now that might have to be a move, but like this is so cute because I don't have a ton of, I actually really don't have a lot of jackets to like throw over and make, really like make an outfit out of. And again, I'm going on a trip soon and it's going to be a tad chilly there, so I need a nice little jacket. So 
This is one of my favorite purchases, and it's actually, it's so soft. Going along with the lavender purple vibe of this cute little flannel, I also got this little bodysuit that I figured would be super cute to put under it, and the colors pretty much match. So I think it's super cute, it has nice little ruffles and stuff, and I also really like the square neckline. Like, I just, I think it's super cute, especially I'm a little bit bustier, so like, having it not like V down is really nice. Also for reference, I'm 5'2", and I teeter between like 160 pounds, 170 right now. A little bit heavier coming out of the winter months, but you know, that's alright, no problem. Normally I wear a size like, I'm anywhere between like an 8 to 12, like right now I'm really comfortable in like a 10-ish, depending on the jeans, like American Eagle, normal, like stretchy jegging type, definitely a 10 in, so in case you have my body type, I'm very much so a square, a little bit more athletic, you know. When I tell you I was so excited to find this little piece because I was gonna order, again, I was gonna order something like that off of Amazon, but I kid you not, I kept trying to add it to my cart, and the button just wasn't there. So I'm not really sure what was going on. Like, I couldn't find the Add to Cart button, so maybe it was trying to tell me something. But, this cute little, like, corduroy type shirt, I got it in, it's like kind of a cream color, teeters on gray, but super cute. So like, this outfit maybe, maybe button it a little bit, tuck it in. Right here, I think that's like a style thing you could do. Something like that. <laughs> but no, I thought this was super cute. And again, it's so cozy. It's nice and thick. I think it'll be nice and warm, especially for like the spring, just like windy type weather that we're gonna be around. So this was, this shirt was $60, and I believe the other one was like 40 something. So again, much more than I would like to have spent, but again, like, they're really thick and nice material, so I really can't complain too much. And then the bodysuit was like 20-ish bucks. These jeans I got from American Eagle, and they're a mom jean. Now, because these did not have like, they were literally rated with like no stretch, so that's why I got them in a 12. And the reason that I don't, like I love the way that mom jeans looks on other people, but the hard thing about like having a little bit curvier body is like I'm not the curvy kind of girl that like has the tapered in waist, still has like the hourglass. No, like I am a box. So it's really hard sometimes to find like the waistband that fits right, but then also like then sometimes the legs are too loose. Like it's a very like trying <laughs> time shopping for that. But I thought these are pretty cute. So 5'2 in mom jeans. It's got some rips going on with my leggings underneath. It's a look. It's giving something. I don't know. Then I got a black pair of jeans, but those are just black skinny jeans, so I'm not going to show you because I'm assuming you could use your imagination for those. <laughs> Again, from American Eagle because they are my favorite place to get jeans. And everyone talks about the Abercrombie, like, uh, 90s curved jeans, whatever. And I'm gonna be honest, I was so close to buying those jeans, but they're $90. Like, that is quite the investment. And I got these jeans from American Eagle while they were like 25% off. So a lot of these jeans were like 30 to $50, which for jeans is not too terrible. Okay, so again, Short torso coming in for the win with these ones, right? Um, bottom of my <laughs> bottom of my bra right here. Oh, waistband is right here. So cool, but I think these are super cute too. I actually really like these. They're a tiny bit shorter than what I normally like. I did get a 12 short, but I figured I'll just wear like boots with them or something, which. I will show you in just one second. So as you can see, these are nice tattered and ripped, but that's kind of how I like the mom jeans or boyfriend jeans to look. I think it gives a little bit more shape when you can see my leg or my cute little leggings underneath. I love these. And the boyfriend jeans are definitely more comfortable on my waist than the mom jeans are. The mom jeans are like a tad tight, 
But again, having a short torso does not help with that because the jeans are not sitting like actually where my waist is. They are sitting up on my rib cage, and I have a very wide rib cage, so I love that for me. Okay, now this last thing that I'm going to show you, I am so excited and also a little disappointed with myself about because, listen, <laughs> I went to the mall, I picked out the few items from dry goods, and I was like, I'm good. I spent what I wanted to, and now I'm good to go. So I was like, let's just peruse around, you know, get our steps in, let's keep wandering around. And we come across the Doc Martin store, and I'm like, all right, cool, let's just go in there, let's meander on in there. And... I had just been looking at the white slip-on Chelsea boots from Doc Martin, sold out everywhere. I kid you not, like 12 hours before we went to the mall, I was looking at them that morning and I was like, oh, okay, like they're sold out, whatever. So I went into the store and I'm like, I don't have high hopes, but I was like, let's put it in Fate's hands. Let's see. Let's decide, okay? So I asked the lady, I'm like, all right, do you have these in an eight? Let's see. When I tell you... My jaw dropped as she came out carrying a box, and I was like, no, they're going to be a different style. Like, I know that Vans employees do that, because they have to. They'll bring out, like, different styles for you to try on. Works on me every time, but, like, I thought that's what she was doing. No, she opened the box. It was those shoes. I was like, <sighs> And I just knew if I didn't get them, I was going to kick myself for, like, months. Because then they'll sell out again. So... So I got the shoes. <laughs> and yeah, I know that they're basic. I know that everyone has them. That's why I want them, okay? Because I don't typically keep up on fashion trends, but you know what? Shoes, I just, they're so cute, okay? <laughs> like, when I tell you, <sighs> I just had to look at them. Look how cute. I haven't even put them on yet. Should I put them on? Big debut for you guys. Can we just look how cute? Are you kidding me? Look how freaking cute. I definitely did not intend on spending money on shoes, nor did I intend on spending... Honestly, between everything I got, I spent about like 300 bucks, so it was a little bit more than I was planning on spending. I kind of had a budget of like... Oh my god. Of like 150 to 200 and I've donated so many clothes recently, like literally had four gigantic boxes of stuff that I've given away, so my closet is kind of empty. So when I tell you that this was much needed and truly just like I don't take care of myself enough in that aspect of like I don't get a lot of clothes, I don't really like get new stuff for myself, makeup included, you know, so it's like it's like playing catch up and it's definitely hard not to feel guilty spending that money, but also, like, I am working hard and I'm making more money now than I have before at my job, so it's, like, it's a balance. I'm really trying to learn balance in life, but ultimately, that's everything I got, and if you are interested in anything that you saw, let me know, and I will happily, I will happily link everything for you. But in the meantime, as always, I hope you have an amazing day, week, month. Whenever you're watching this, thank you so much for joining along with me. Go out and live an amazing life, and as always, be kind to others.